in the last presentation we saw the working of jk flip flop and reduce this to table that you can see here in this everything is same like sr flip flop but only the last combination in which we are having output sq and complement that is our toggle by toggle i mean that the output qn plus 1 quickly changes from 0 to 1 and again 0 then 1 this is called as toggling we will see toggling in great detail in the next presentation now by using this truth table i have to find out the characteristic table and the excitation table for the jk flip-flop this characteristic table and excitation table is very much useful when you do your flip-flop conversion and the designing of counters that's why i am explaining it in the separate presentation and it is expected from you to know these tables when we do the flip-flop conversions because we are going to use these tables directly over there now let's move to our characteristic table in this i'm having single output that is my next state so what is the next state q1 plus 1 is the next state this is stored in the flip-flop and this next state is dependent upon the present input okay my present input is j and k and it is also dependent on the previous state my previous state is q n so it is clear that i'm having three inputs my three inputs are q n j k and depending upon these three inputs i'm having a single output that is my next state it is q n plus one so let's try to find out the characteristic table by using this truth table because of these three variables i'm having eight combinations zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero and the last one is triple one so this is the eight combinations that we are having now let's use this truth table to find out the values of qn plus one for different values of qn j and k so when jk both are zero so let's see what we are having when jk both are zero it is the memory so whatever the previous value we are having the q1 plus 1 is going to be the same actually it is qn so qn is zero so qn plus 1 is also going to be zero now when j is zero k is one it means this case we are going to have qn plus 1 as zero so zero here and uh, when j is 1 k is 0 you can see here when j is 1 k is 0 q1 plus 1 is 1 so i'm having 1 and uh, when j is 1 k is 1 and this is the special case that we deduce from the sr flip-flop the toggle state so whatever be the value of qn we are going to have the complement of it you can see qn complement so in this case i'm having qn as 0 so I have to take the complement and the complement of 0 is 1 so q1 plus 1 is 1 again 0 0 memory state we are having 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 and 1 1 toggle state qn is 1 so we will take complement and it is 0 so it's a very simple table you can see the characteristic table you only need to know the truth table you can easily find your characteristic table it's very simple now after characteristic table we are going to have our excitation table and uh, this table is deduced by the help of characteristic table so let's see how to have our excitation table in this we are having the two inputs qn qn plus one the present state and the next state and two outputs and the outputs are our inputs to the flip-flop j Okay, now we are having the two inputs. So there are four possible combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, now using this characteristic table, we will find the values for j, k. So let's see for the first case when qn and qn plus 1 both are 0. So you can see here in characteristic table, the first two cases are having qn and qn plus 1 as 0 and the value for j is always 0 so i can write j as 0 but the value of k is 0 1 so it is don't care because the value is only dependent upon j whatever be the value of k it's not going to change so k is the don't care now we will see when qn is 0 and qn plus 1 is 1 so this two cases we are having 
in which qn is 0 and qn plus 1 is 1. Now you can see that j is 1 whereas k is 0 1. So I am having j is 1 and k again is don't care. And uh, for the third case when qn is 1 and qn plus 1 is 0. Let's see what we are having. This is qn1, qn plus 1, 0. And the last case is having qn as 1 and qn plus 1 as 0. In this case, you can see that j is changing from 0 to 1, which makes it don't care, and k is 1. So let's write it down. j is don't care, k is 1. And uh, we are only left with these two cases. Let me change the color for this. And uh, in this, qn is 1 qn plus 1 is also 1 and this is the last case of our excitation table and for this you can see that j is changing from 0 to 1 or we can say that it is don't care and k is 0 so don't care and 0 so this is the excitation table that we have just discovered for the jk flip-flop now we will find out the value for j and k by using the k map we are having the two variables so a four cell k map is required and the first k map is for j and the variables we are having are qn and qn plus 1 0 1 0 1 now let's fill this k map 0 1 don't care don't care so 0 1 don't care don't care only a single one is there so the combination will be very easy we are having this group of ones I have considered the don't care as one you know already these things so j is equal to what j is equal to qn plus 1 because qn is changing from 0 to 1 so j is equal to qn plus 1 now we will make the k map for k and the variables are qn qn plus 1 the same procedure we will do here also 0 1 0 1 now in this case I am having k as don't care don't care 1 0 so don't care don't care 1 0 again a very simple k map to do and I am having my group like this and the value of k is equal to qn plus 1 complement because again in this case qn is changing from 0 to 1 and qn plus 1 is 0 so these are the values from the excitation table in the same way we can deduce the value for qn plus 1 by using the characteristic table in this case we are having three variables so a 8 cell k map is required so let's make a 8 cell k map you can solve it by your own by pausing the video if you have not practiced the k map much but it's a simple thing and uh, once you are in sequential circuit it is expected from you that you know the k map so this is my 8 cell k map 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 now let's fill the values in this 0 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 so 1 0 1 0 now we have filled the map it's time to make the groups so the first group for me is this one okay and the second group is this one a very simple k map now let's try to find out the values for the groups from the first group I'm having q and complement Q and complement and in JK you can see that K is changing from 1 to 0 so it is neglected whereas J is 1 so I'm having Q and complement and J or from the second group I'm having QN so QN is here and in JK you can see J is changing from 0 to 1 so it is neglected whereas K is 0 so QN and K complement so this is the value of qn plus 1 from the excitation table and this is all for this presentation and uh, i just want to tell you one thing that please remember this characteristic table and excitation table because it is used directly in many topics so i hope you will do that so see you in the next presentation